Hello everybody. My name is Anita Makharia. I am the founder CEO of Shubhkamna Events and Experiences. We are into the business of creating mesmerizing experiences and celebrating your happiness. At Shubhkamna, we are a team of young enthusiasts with a team of experienced ones creating impactful and truly memorable experiences for our clients by blending innovations with traditions and style with elegance we cater to corporate events social events especially the weddings destination weddings and other milestone celebrations and meteal activations with our head office in bangalore we have our branch offices in hyderabad chennai and pune we cater to pan india requirements including all your tier 2 cities and tier 3 cities as well this was a short brief about my company uh yes shubhkamna is uh, my baby and uh, i came about with this uh, company a couple of years back uh, just because i wanted to do something very very meaningful i wanted to be a part of all the celebrations be it uh, in your social events or be it your corporate events we started off with btl activations and corporate events but with the increase uh, demand for the social events we uh, thought of stepping into the social events sector as well weddings being our core and destination weddings is what we look at and uh, hoping to see all also emerging as a uh, very good event planners having said that i would take you all to the next topic uh, in today's session that is on communication skills what we would be learning today is we would learn what is communication what is the importance of communication why is communication required and what is the mode of communication so in this apart from the topics which i have mentioned here there are sub topics also which will be covering which will uh, be uh, a little more in detail before we start i just hope you all are carrying your pen and papers to make some notes and please um, have your water bottle next to you so that you can have this uninterrupted 30 minutes of uh, our session so uh, i'm sure you all know what communication is by now and do you have the communication skills in you so what are the kind of communication what are the skills that are required for communication is what i'll be taking you all through why communication is very very important in an event industry as you see it is all about connecting with people it is here about listening it's about speaking it's about hearing it's about being responsive okay so uh quickly let's go to the definition of communication communication is derived from a latin word called commune which means to share it is the sharing of the information amongst individuals so it uh, what kind of an information is the information only uh, uh, only some data point it could be data it could be sharing of ideas it could be sharing of concepts it could be uh, imaginations it could be behaviors it could be some form of written content as well so basically what when we say communication we just mean transfer of information from one person or one place to another person or another place so this is the basic definition of communication as event planners we are in a people's industry i think i've mentioned this time and again so what happens is here you are dealing with many people be it your client be it your teams be it your vendors be it your other departments be it accounts finances be it your suppliers or uh, there is a lot of people whom you are dealing with there is a flow of one particular goal or objective or idea or a concept which has to be carried forward till the last level in the same manner so that that common goal and objective is achieved and for this if you are not able to clearly understand the goal objective or the idea or the reason for celebration or the reason for the particular event if you don't understand it well if you don't reciprocate it well you will not be able to pass on the same information to the rest of the channels 
that is why communication is very very important it could be right from a napkin to the audio visual effects as well so every channel there is passing of some information sharing of an idea or a concept and just knowing how you can say this or how you can pass on this information in the right manner till the end user is very very important and this needs a lot of skill this needs a lot of practice this needs a lot of traits if you have it in you then yes it is very easy for you to become a good communicator or an orator so what are the elements that go into a com effective communication so you have one who's the sender of this information okay there's one uh, element which is the medium and finally you have a recipient so who uh, so the three elements are the sender the medium and the recipient okay so sender is the person who 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 wants to pass on this idea to the end person he is the most involved person with a clear understanding of what needs to be delivered what is medium medium is a platform over which this information is passed on or is conducted who is the recipient to the person to whom you are conveying this particular information i hope it's clear till here yeah so when you talk about these three elements there are certain steps which are involved in communication so there is a thought this thought is encoding there is a encoding of this particular thought and then there is a decoding of the particular thought so in simple words if you find these words very very uh, big and jargonish they are our basic communication words okay so the thought is a subject matter okay that is the information that is there in the sender's mind this thought or this idea needs to be transformed and uh, de and developed into a particular mode and a medium is used be it speech be it verbal uh, i'll be explaining this also what do you mean by verbal and non verbal uh, communication modes okay so this uh, is where this transformation is happening which is known as encoding when the fin when finally this message is received by the final recipient he understands this message that is as a translation of this particular information or thought and the recipient is actually decoding it or interpreting this from the perspective of the receiver so the three steps which are involved in communication is a thought then you're encoding the thought or you're transforming this thought and you're decoding it that is perceiving the information uh, in the right manner or interpretation of this particular information now when we talk about communication skills first we need to understand why is it important for us to communicate with others now if the client has given me a idea okay there's some thought in the client and he tells it to me and i say okay but i don't pass it on to my other teammates do you think the end delivery will happen yes now so if i want this communication to be passed on to my teams and to my vendors to the other departments involved and to my accounts team to pass me on the uh, estimate there are certain skills in which i have to present this particular information so the basic communication skills will be the way you are presenting the skills the way you negotiate uh, how am i writing down these thoughts the business writing skills am i able to influence the client or my other departments with the particular idea are there any cross cultural uh, requirements which are involved how do i manage this entire discussion or this entire information so that there is a win win situation for us as event planners or as a company and to our client who is the curator or the person for whom this entire event is being planned and then you have an audience okay that is people who are going to be another set of stakeholders in this particular event so whenever you plan an event you have to ensure that there is a win win situation for everybody who's involved this entire curation or conceptualization has to be sold to the client and this involves a lot of teamwork hence 
when you talk about communication it is an entire skill set wherein you should be able to not only deliver the ideas of the client but also your ideas to the client and to your own department members i hope this is uh, understandable to you all many people wonder why do we need to have this communication i mean can't I, it is all about just understanding what the client wants right the client wants to do a corporate event say he wants to have a team outing for 50 of his uh, team members why do i need to be effective in communication i mean he told me he needs a team outing i'll come and tell my uh, team he plan for a team outing and then the client is okay Pur purpose is achieved it is not as simple as this when you sit with the client he may have a certain idea for a team outing does he want it indoor does he want it outdoor is this team building activity to be done in his premise or you have to take him out to a resort or is it going to be one day activity or a two day activity so there are lots of questions and discussions which go around this particular thing hence if you're not good with your communication if you do not understand what is being told to you or if you do not know how to present your thoughts for clarifications which will help you in clear understanding and planning of the event then you may not be able to sell the idea or back the particular order from that client hence for every step in the planning process you need to have a clear expectation of or a clear idea of what the client is expecting you to do all this is possible only when you have good communication skills when we talk about com effective communication why is effective communication very important effective communication helps you in taking strong decisions it increases the productivity of you as an event planner and your team members and the company as in whole it helps in having consistency in the workflow because with clear communication you would have actually delegated all your work it cannot be a one man army you cannot be the designer you cannot be uh, the executor you cannot be talking to the vendors yes if you, i'm not i'm not underestimating you but in an organization when you have proper departments with people doing their what they are good at and you being the monitor uh, supervising at it or as per your skill set you have taken a particular part in that particular organization for one department you will be more productive and more consistent in your workflow this develops strong business relationships and gives you a better control on that event with all this what happens is you turn out to be a better professional in all your work and this enhances your image as an event planner or a event management company the finally when all the departments are doing well there's increase in productivity when there's consistency in workflow when you all are delivering well you get better response from all stakeholders thus resulting in more business for you and for your company that is the reason why effective communication is very important and trust me if you are not born with great communication skills not to worry you can still develop them you can still learn them and practice them and obviously enough then be very good at it what happens when you have effective communication when you have a very good effective communication or the keys for effective communication you foster very good relationships you need to put yourself in the other person's shoes and understand what he or she wants and be it your client or be it your vendors or suppliers you need to be very strong in communicating with your vendors and suppliers as well always be very empathetic towards them remember they are pro at what they are doing okay so when they are giving you an idea always take the idea do a feasibility study which we had learned in our previous sessions do a feasibility study see if what they are suggesting is adding value to you or to your client if yes then you shift back this idea to the client and you know take it back 
but for all this if you're not good with your way of talking or your way of understanding or your way of uh, uh, interpreting the, the information you may lose out there always encourage two way communication if you have just only if you are talking or if only the client is talking and you are not able to say to the client whether this idea is feasible whether it's doable does it have a monetary impact does it have an in environmental impact um, are licenses required if you cannot talk back to the client and just nodding your head when the client is talking you are actually putting a barrier to the communication you are closing doors for effectiveness you always need to uh, 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 initiate and always uh, encourage a culture of transparency from day one if your discussions are always clear open and transparent with 100% truth and facts you may tend to uh, increase your business uh, potentials to a greater extent always strive for interdependency than independence to a certain extent it's always nice and we all want to be independent in all that we do but at the same time please remember that event management is not one job you know you are not just you're not just taking care of accounts it is there's a lot of multitasking involved if you are having a team who can actually execute certain work or you can delegate work to them that helps you on focusing on the client or on the objective of that particular event do not assume things if you're not clear it always helps that you go back and ask for clarifications that is one reason why we say encourage two way communication now for example just because the wedding is going to start suppose you have the invitation card for a wedding for 7 o'clock don't assume that 6:55 is the time that you need to hand over the entire uh, venue to the client the guests are expected at 6:55 but what happens is that the family of the client is already there so get a clarification from the client are there any ceremonies that you all are going to uh, have within the family before 7 o'clock before the barat is coming what time do you want uh, the welcome drink to be served what time do i need to hand over the stage to you always plan this in advance this will be possible only if you have planned it well which needs again yes a good communication as i was saying about delegation of work the emphasis or the actual function of communication is two one is getting your work done one is building relationships so when i talk about getting work done it is like making clear requests and agreements you know um, you talk to your uh, you talk to your suppliers you talk to your vendors you are in agreement with them for certain things what is doable what is not doable you are talking to your clients you tell your client what is doable what is not doable you understand what he wants are you able to deliver this are you able to convey the same to the client is the client in agreement with you in case the client says that oh, i want only orchids but for some reason you are not able to arrange for orchids so you say i don't have orchids can i arrange for daisies is a client in agreement with you you should be able to take spontaneous decisions and communicate these decisions to all the uh, stakeholders to whom this uh, particular decision impacts there is always a scope of making mistakes do not repeat your mistakes but when you make a mistake are you in a position of actually making good this particular mistake what is the impact of this mistake how are you going to handle this mistake is it going to have a very big impact on the event or on the uh, final end of the objective of the client are you able to communicate this to the client even before the client talks to you always always ask for feedback feedback is very very important for you to grow and prosper similarly you should also be free and in a position to give feedback to your teams to your vendors and suppliers at times it becomes necessary to give a feedback to the client as well always remember that anything and everything that you do is a process of learning be open to learning once you learn once you are open to learning and once you open to this concept that is when you will actually grow bigger and better the minute you say i am the best i know everything i am not going i i it's enough for me that means you have closed the doors 
for future growth. Next, we talk about building relationships. The event industry is a growing industry. Are you happy with just doing, say, five weddings or five corporate events in a year? Of course, you are not. Here, uh, when uh, if you ask me, most of the events come to you as repeat business from your clients or from mouth-to-mouth -mouth referrals. Hence, it is very important that you build a good relationship with the clients, with their guests. You connect with as many people as possible. If by chance there are any conflicts in the event or in your interdepartmental functionings or um, say with your suppliers and vendors, you should be in the position to take control and deal with these conflicts. How do you solve these problems? Because problems are always bound to come. Okay. Now, are you somebody who focuses on the problems or are you somebody who focuses on the solutions of these problems? So, you need to be very strong in communicating the solutions to your teams, taking control, doing the required actions and zap, your problems are eliminated. At times, you may need to reward or punish your um, wrongdoers. Punish becomes a strong word. Okay, so generally, I do not use a lot of negative words. So, I would rather say, uh, how do you, there's always a carrot and stick approach, right, to get your work done. So, how do you reward people? That's very good. It's always nice to reward, to appreciate. But uh, when it comes to somebody who's not performing as per expectations or somebody who did a misdeed because of which your, uh, there was a negative impact on your event. So, how do you deal with this? So, uh, probably what is the kind of feedback that you're going to give? How are you going to deal with these kind of situations? All this is a part of your communication strategies. I would also like to say before we come to this activity time, when it uh, when I talk about functions of communication, I would also like to say that, you know, never be shy in getting your work done by others. Of course, you are the face to the client. Of course, you need to be at the event. Of course, you need to work. But you cannot do everything by your own self. Okay, so when there are certain uh, tasks, Though there is multitasking involved, involve the right sources, okay? And uh, it is always all about we, okay? Also, I would like to uh, let uh, uh, share with you all what are the basic benefits of a good communication event industry. See, right from the beginning to the end, effective communication is the core uh, element for the success of an event, okay, be it in terms of advertising, be it in terms of uh, campaigning, be it in terms of delegation, be it in terms of coordination, right from level one till the end of the event, there is communication which is involved. You're building relationships in such a manner that, you know, you try to strike the maximum conversion rates. People may ask you about your products and services. People may talk to you uh, to know what is the core strength of your team. Uh, people may want to know how we are going to create an awareness or a campaign. People may want to know um, about your credibilities. If you are not able to uh, say the same to, uh, if you're not able to share this kind of an information in the most effective manner, it becomes very difficult for you to convince the client that you are capable of delivering. I would like to just uh, uh, have a small activity with you all. Uh, we just uh, went through a few uh, skills and uh, sets. I just want to check with you all. Uh, do you believe that a few of the effective communication traits can be learned? What are your strongest traits in effective communication? And what are the skills or traits that you wish to strengthen more so that your communication skills become very, very effective? Take a couple of seconds or minutes. Please write it down. And in case you have any further queries or you want to share something with me, I'll be sharing my email ID at the end of the session. Feel free to connect with me. 
so as uh, uh, budding event planners or uh, people who want to be a part of the event industry as per your skill set uh, i strongly suggest that you have to be a very good communicator so that your ideas your dreams your aspirations can come true okay and only then with proper interaction with proper communication skills uh, everything can be well managed and things will automatically fall in place as i say that feedback is very very important uh, you may not be sure if the message that you wanted to pass has been successfully received and interpreted in the right manner so it always helps that you take a feedback from the recipient especially if the recipient is your client is your vendor or a supplier or your teammate irrespective of who the recipient is in business it is very important that you are understood well so probably you can always say like now suppose let's do it this way okay i was teaching you so i use my communication skills so i may ask i hope this is clear i hope you all understood what i said do you want any more details do you have any clarifications since we are not face to face at the moment i'm ask i may ask you for a written communication that is i'll share my email id with you all and you all can write back to me so you know you can always ask for more detailed feedback to check whether the recipient actually understood what you are saying probably you can say that okay i'm going through again and this is what i'm going to do i hope you understood it in this particular manner okay so generally if you've noticed the way i start is i tell you all when i start a session i say what we are going to learn i always end the session by saying that this is what we have learned so and what happens in between is the topics that we covered up so this is my way of checking with you whether you know this is what i wanted to teach you and this is i hope you this is what you've understood here comes that slide what i was talking about so what did we learn today we learned on what is communication it is exchange of ideas or it is an exchange of information between people or uh, transforming this particular information from place to place or from people to people communication is very very important right from level 1 where you know you are first sitting with a client who has some ideas in his mind which needs to be uh, conveyed to your team for final execution hence there are lots of communication skill sets which are required it uh, a lot of tra- uh, decision making skills uh, it you need to have effective communication what are the communication requirements all the skills that go into it so i hope this is be a, a very clear session to you all in case you still have any doubts feel free to write to me at anita makarya at gmail.com until then Stay safe, stay happy and keep learning and keep growing. Shubhkamnaye to everybody.